YouTube, it's your girl Sheila J and I am back with another video for today. If you are new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you can be notified every single time yours truly uploads a new video. If you are not new here, welcome back, but you always come back because I am everyone's favorite everything and your favorite YouTuber and everything I touch turns to gold. And in today's video, we are discussing the fact that not everyone is a spiritual guru, not everyone is a spiritual teacher, not everyone can help and be a manifesting coach. But there's so many people on YouTube that think they're a coach and in reality, they're really not a coach. They're just posting up videos just to be, just for clout. And I say this because I recently watched a documentary in class um, in school and it's called Kumare and I will link a, um, I'll put up here a link to um, the documentary um, trailer for you guys to watch. And basically the guy became a spiritual teacher without even trying, like he literally just embodied being a teacher, um, a spiritual teacher. And in doing so, he helped a lot of people. Now for me, even though I'm doing all these manifesting videos and I'm talking and about these videos and all this extra stuff and I'm putting out all these content and this from my personal experience or whatever, I'm studying holistic psychology because I, I feel like I really wanna learn and learn more about the brain. I really want to learn how to help people. And for me, I genuinely really want to do that. And if my content is helping people, which I know it is because people are telling me that, um, when I'm posting out videos, I'm posting as if I'm talking to myself and I'm telling myself the things that I want to hear. And since these are things that I genuinely want to hear, I know someone else wants to hear that too. So it's like my diary at the same time. But my thing is, I'm not outwardly saying, hey, I'm a coach or anything. I naturally feel like I'm becoming it without even trying. Because my videos are helping people. My videos are touching people's heart. I'm not even trying to put out the content. I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking and the words are just spilling out to me because I feel like I'm in that anointed in my stance and in my power that I can touch people and help change people's lives without even having to try. And so I'm not, even though I'm not outwardly saying, hey, I'm a ma manifesting coach or whatever the case may be, I am becoming one naturally because I'm helping people. I'm putting out this content and it's actually helping people. And since I'm putting this content out there, I'm not, I'm really not trying to be a coach, but it's happening gradually. So if eventually I get paid for it, okay, by all means. But if not, I'm not gonna sit here stressing it because I don't care about it. I know eventually but the more value I give you guys and the more value I give to you, the more that I know eventually I'm going to get it. I'm going to get money back tenfold or more because the more value I give, the more I can help to you guys. But like, I can't stress this enough and I've said this in other videos. Please do your research when it comes to finding a coach. Do your research on them because a lot of coaches are just trying to be a coach because of the clout and the money. That's the only reason why. And they prey on people's weaknesses. They prey on your insecurities and they tell you what you want to hear. They, they tell you that they can help you and then they don't help you. They don't actually really help you. And um, you don't want that. And you don't want someone to take your money because they know that they, they can prey on you. Make sure that when you are looking for a coach, they, they have success stories. They have a, a numerous amount of success. Make sure they have that success. Make sure they have their specific person. Make sure they are what they say they are. Because if they are not, 
you're going to find yourself in a really crappy coach to client situation and you don't want that. So I can't stress to you how important it is to make sure you do your research. Do your research. It's not that hard because what one coach might work say says might not work for you. Like you have to do your research. Ask them what their success to to success stories are. Ask them like make sure they have success stories. Make sure they have their specific person. Make sure they know what they are talking about. Make sure they're not just talking out there from experience. Make sure they're it, it's just make sure. And at the end of the day, also remember there is more than one teaching. There's more than one there's more than one theorist, there's more than one teacher. So it's not just Neville Goddard. There's other people who talk about manifesting. Fine. Read. Do your read. Read, read, read. Reading is fundamental. Very, very fundamental. There's more than one. There's more than one book about it. I've done I can't stress to you, like there's more than one person other than Neville Goddard that you can learn from. It's not just him. There's other books that you can read on manifesting. There's other books that you can learn from. There's a ton of information out there, but don't go in information overload. Make sure you're doing your research. Make sure you know what the person you're working with. Make sure you, like I cannot stress this enough, do your research for yourself and apply the stuff that you are learning. And even like, and I linked the video up here for you guys. You don't need a coach. You are your own coach. You are your own success story. And that's all I'm gonna say in today's video. I hope my rant helped. Thanks for watching guys.